Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was to name the bilateral maritime exercise between Indian Navy and Australian Navy. And the answer is OWS index. That is the name of bilateral maritime exercise between India and uh, Australia. Let's now start today's session. First question for the day with reference to Central Consumer Protection Authority. Consider the following statement. Statement 1. It will have a chief commissioner as head and only two other commissioners as members. And statement 2. It can inquire or investigate into matters relating to violations of consumer rights or unfair trade practices only on complaint received. And statement 3. It can recall goods or withdraw of services that are dangerous, hazardous or unsafe. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A, 1 and 2 only. Option B, 2 and 3 only. Option C, 1 and 3 only. And option D, 1, 2 and 3. Guys, the correct answer is, second statement is wrong. So, our answer comes, option C, 1 and 3 only. So, this authority is being constituted under Consumer Protection Act 2019. This act replaced the Consumer Protection Act 1986 and seeks to widen its scope in addressing consumer concerns. The CCPA, which is uh, Con Central Consumer Protection Authority, uh, introduced in the new act, which aims to protect the rights of consumer by cracking down unfair trade practices and false and misleading advertisements that are detrimental to the interest of public and consumers. And CCPA will have the powers to inquire or investigate into matters relating to violations of consumer rights or unfair trade practices, sua motto, or on a complaint received, or on a direction from the central government and the body will have a chief commissioner as head and only two other commissioners as members one of whom will be dealing with matters relating to goods while the other will look into cases relating to services and CCPA will have an investigation wing also that will be headed by a director general and district collectors too will have the power to investigate complaints of violations of consumer rights and fair trade practices and false or misleading advertisements. So we will now move to second question. Second question is which among the following statements is are true with regard to polar vertex. Statement 1 the polar vertex spins in the stratosphere. Statement 2 it weakens in summer and strengthens in winter. So select the correct answer using the calls given below. Option A 1 and 1 only. Option B 2 only. Option C both 1 and 2 and option D neither 1 nor 2. Guys, the correct answer here is both the statements are correct. So, it is option C, both 1 and 2. So, the polar vertex is a large pocket of very cold air, typically the coldest air in the northern hemisphere. It can be seen in the southern hemisphere also. Simply, it is a cyclone formed in the polar region and it sits over polar region during winter season. So, polar vertex is a cold upper tropospheric and sometimes extending till the lower levels of stratosphere you know that at poles the troposphere extends up, up to 8 to 9 km and the polar vertex is a large cyclonic parcel of air the range is around 1000 km and in counterclockwise direction in the northern hemisphere you can see in the picture and the polar vertex is closely associated with jet streams it is formed mainly in winters and get weaker in summer. It surrounds polar highs and lie within the polar front that is the boundary separating the temperate and polar air masses. And the polar vertex will remain its place when the westerlies along with the polar jet are strong. A strong polar vertex means there is a huge temperature contrast between temperate and polar regions and temperature in the polar vertex can go up to minus 80 degree. And when the polar vertex is weak, which means the warm air from the temperate region comes into polar region and polar vertex dissipate. So then the polar vertex intrudes into mid-latitude regions and uh, this leads to significant cold outbreaks in mid-latitude regions and uh, especially the vertex is capable of delivering sub-zero temperatures in United States, Europe, Canada where it is occurring most. And this is a picture of US street due to the effect of polar vertex dissipation. So that is polar vertex. Now another concept is polar stratospheric clouds. This is a different concept. They are formed mainly during the events of 
polar vertex in winter and it is a cloud formation in polar vertex basically it is a cloud formation and it consists of water nitric acid or sulfuric acid what happens is the chlorofluorocarbons which is used in our refrigerators and ACs this CFC persists in atmosphere for more than 100 years and this CFC reacts with elements in the polar stratospheric clouds mainly with the nitric acid in the polar stratospheric cloud it will react with CFC to form chlorine so when polar vertex is strong this chlorine formation happens and when in summer when polar vertex dissipates what happens is chlorine inside a polar vertex in the presence of sunlight react with oxygen actually we know that ozone is three molecules of oxygen here chlorine reacts with two molecules of oxygen O2 and the other one molecule of ozone gets separated and in this way it destructs ozone layer leading to the depletion of ozone layer that is the way in which ozone layer is depleting and guys recently this was in news related with largest ozone hole ever recorded over north pole has now healed itself and closed the ozone hole become the largest one ever recorded in the arctic region spanning an area of our 6 lakh 20 thousand square miles and it is a huge area so that hole get healed recently and the major reason for this is in 2020 the arctic polar vertex has been exceptionally strong and long lived so this helped to heal the uh, hole so that was in news recently we'll now move to last question for the day and the last question for the day is rudhar recently seen in the news is a option a new paddy variety option b low cost mechanical ventilator option c air force exercise between india and israel and option d online platform for consumer complaint redressal so guys the correct answer here is it is option b it's a low cost mechanical ventilator so it is a low cost mechanical ventilator to fight against covid 19 developed by iit bombay team and the cost of production of one ventilator is just rupees 10000 and it provides necessary functionalities which can provide adequate breathing support necessary to save the life of critically ill covid 19 patients and it is a recent development and guys our today's quiz question is recently a test kit named corrosion test kit was developed and our question is it is developed by which organization please post your answers in the comment section that's all for today guys we'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions please post your scores also in the comment section thank you for watching